from Radies Rides. We are in Long Beach, California at the Formula Drift competition weekend. And guess what? Toyota is bringing a lot of excitement, not only on the drifting course, but also with this car right here. This is it. This is the one you waited for. This is a 2023 Toyota GR Corolla. But before we get into this all-wheel drive turbocharged machine, let's talk about what's going on here. Toyota. A lot of people are unaware that they really have been doing the business when it comes not only to sports car endurance racing, they've even done Formula One, but they've also done some really big things in the World Rally Championship, going all the way back to the 1990s with the famous Toyota Celica GT4. Well, guess what? They're taking a lot of what they learned with the GR Yaris, both in WRC and that homologation model, which we never got here in the United States, and they're bringing it for the Corolla, but even bringing more performance than what that GR Yaris promises. Now, obviously, a lot of attention on Subaru with the cancellation of the WRX STI, but you know what? There is another heavy hitter in this industry that's gonna be coming from Volkswagen with the Golf R. So what I wanna find out is, has Toyota done everything possible to make this that ultimate hot hatch going up against the Golf R, or is Volkswagen still doing it right? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our core trim grade level of the GR Corolla and find out. Right off the bat, you're gonna be able to get it in three different colors when you go the core trim. This one is supersonic red, and boy oh boy, does it look fabulous in the California sun. Now at the front of the business, don't think that they kinda dabbled and just did some GR badges here and there. They went all in and it all starts with this front fascia. So you're gonna get actually a wider Corolla with the flare fenders and the modified front fascia. You're gonna get those corner air intakes which are fully functional. Air is gonna come in, channel it down the side through the wheel arch. And then I love the way they didn't just add a bunch of stuff at the front. They actually took the splitter, extended it down very nicely and with that supersonic red, you could also get it in white or of course black. Now, with this wider front end, they went bigger, wider with the grill. You're gonna have your GR badge, that Gazoo Racing. You look at all the Le Mans victories, you look at the WRC championships. Love the way that badge is prominently displayed. We got LED lighting. And then the great news is this whole front fascia is fully functional from bottom to middle even the top here on both sides of the Toyota badge to channel all that cool air in because like I said, we have turbocharged power. Now we're comparing this to the Golf R, especially the Mark 8. This looks way more aggressive. It looks pure rally legend with that all wheel drive. The Golf R is gonna be a lot more tame. Even though Volkswagen said they were gonna go a little bit over the top, they really didn't, but Toyota boy, they brought it big. Now when you get up onto the hood, Basically the same hood as your Corolla, so everything's gonna slide up, boomerang towards the eight pillars, but you can see that angry, aggressive stance that you know something is different. Now, with the core trim being that entry level, you're gonna be able to have the option of getting front and rear limited slip differentials. Now there is an, another model which we'll talk about, the Circuit Edition, that comes standard with the limited slip diffs. But let's continue our journey with the supersonic red. Now, as we come around the bend, I love, one of my favorite parts is how the front fender flows into the side here, comes down, nice hard edge, giving it that great look. And then look what we have, wheels and tires. 18 inch wheels all the way around, 15 spoke, love the design. You're gonna get four piston calipers. The rotors up front are 14.1 inches in diameter, two piece rotors slotted and fully ventilated. I apologize for the race car sounds, but guess what? We are here at a racetrack for the Formula Drift Championship. So lots of excitement going on with this car and with the race cars. Now you'll notice that we have the Pilot Sport, Michelin Pilot Sport four tires are gonna give us nice grip, also good durability. And then like I said, that limited slip diff, and these are Enki wheels. These are actually made by that famous company, Enki, that produces amazing wheels. Love the sound of the race cars. But the wheels, with this, they worked all the suspension, all four dampers, and you get three modes, and all-wheel drive. You could send power forward and backward to the rear, depending on what mode you're in, but we'll talk about that more in a second. Coming down the side, 
I love that flared fender. You got the gloss black. I'm gonna have Lori swing around and show that functional fender vent with the GR badge. Gloss black up top on the mirror caps. Nice, great flow. You can see the proportions from the side. And I think my other favorite part is that lower side sill. It comes down, we got the GR4 badge. That's gonna give us the all wheel drive. And then look at the flare fender. Look at how it starts on the passenger door, comes into the rear and then extends off the back. That really shows what's going on with the style of this car. And then as we come around the back, you have a standard, standard roof spoiler. I wish for the core edition, I'm gonna zonk this, I wish they would've went a little bit further for the core trim. You got your LED lighting, that flared fender, nothing fake. They actually put the required reflectors in these flared out areas. And then coming across the back, you'll notice the GR Corolla badge. Like I said, we're here at the racetrack, so you're gonna expect to hear some race car noises. But down below this massive rear diffuser, we got the unique three exhaust setup. This is meant to cut down on that back pressure so that you don't get that booming sound. I can't wait to hear the sound out of this exhaust though. But since we're talking about turbocharged performance, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our core trim of the GR Corolla. Right, guys, up front you have that massive intercooler with that GR4 badging sprayed on the intercooler. Underneath the hood though, what do we have? We have not a four cylinder turbo, this is an inline three, but don't let that disappoint you. What are we looking at? We're looking at a 1.6 liter inline three turbocharged engine, 300 horsepower, do the simple math. That's 100 horsepower per cylinder, 273 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a six-speed manual transmission only. Remember, that engine is the G16E GTS. Peak torque comes in at 3,000 RPM, screams all the way up to 5,000 RPM for the peak torque. You got the splits of all-wheel drive. 60-40 is normal, 30-70 is sport and then track is 50 50. the car weighs around 3200 pounds and like i said optional limited slip diffs up front and out the rear if you're comparing that to the golf r the golf r does have that limited slip differential and they did change up some of the uh new things for the mark 8 and then of course the little bit horsepower difference but one thing you got to remember is that weight is also an important factor of performance. Not only is there less weight with this GR Corolla, but you have less weight off the front end. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire up this GR Corolla and hear what it sounds like. Hi guys, we're inside this 2023 GR Corolla. Like I was saying, for 2023, you're gonna have two different grades. This is your standard core grade, and then you have the circuit grade. The circuit grade is only gonna be available at launch. It's sort of like a launch edition. That comes with a, a bunch of other goodies. I will leave a link to the end of this review of what that vehicle is all about and what it brings. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, what about price? Do the math. You're a smart cookie. The Volkswagen Golf R, new for 2022, has that price over $40,000. I think this one, being the core one, is gonna be a tick under $40,000. Keep your fingers crossed. We're gonna see what happens. The great news is, is that this is actually built at the Gazoo Racing Facility in Japan that handles the GR Yaris, the Le Mans winning prototypes, and all their other works but while we go ahead let's see how it stacks up to the golf r to the door panels you're gonna get that familiar corolla style and 
it looks good. The white contrast stitching. The one thing I'm going to zonk is the amount of gloss black, not only on the door handle, but also around the switch gear. I wish they would have just went flat black or maybe some aluminum trim pieces since this is that rally car of a Corolla. Now the door pocket is super tight. So maybe, maybe some avocado toast and a bottle of iced tea. Of course, super sweet to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, that soft touch material, I would have liked to have seen the white stitching brought, but I know that they're probably going to do that because this is a pre-production. Everything you see is not exactly how it's going to be once you get yours at your Toyota dealership. But you got your familiar 8-inch infotainment system. The big news is this has the same updated operating system software as the new Tundra. So all the special features that we brought to you with the Tundra are now in this system. I don't mind it being that iPad style, easy to get to, and now that it's fully updated, really, really makes sense, especially with things like wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Down below, you do have your Twinkie tray for those pesky Type R owners and the Elantra N owners and the Golf R owners that you're gonna beat at your autocross event. Leave some Twinkies in there for them. You do have your heated seats. Love the nice soft touch material. You got your different drive modes, of course. Ignore the EV mode because remember, this is a pre-production, but we do have our different drive modes. If you have it in normal, 60% of the power goes up front, 40% goes to the rear. You put it in the next mode, that's gonna be a 30-70 split, and then you could even do an equal 50-50. This is where the magic happens at the racetrack, at your autocross. Love this shifter, nice short throws, crisp engagement. It's got auto rev match downshift feature. If you don't wanna do your heel toe downshifting, it's got the GR badge. And I just love how it's positioned perfectly where you're sitting. Now you do have your mode selector switch for those different modes. And then you got a good old fashioned e-brake with the leather and the nice contrast stitching, two cup holders. Key fob, this is not gonna be the key fob that it comes with, so there's really no use showing you. Soft padding, seats, love what they did. These are the core seats, one piece backs like a Recaro seat, the microfiber suede material, manual adjustments for the passenger and the driver, but the great news is that's gonna cut down on weight overall. The even better news is you got plenty of headroom, slide that helmet over your head because you're gonna be doing that rowing through the gear action in this GR Corolla. But why don't you come over to the business end, I wanna show you behind the wheel and 12.3 inches of rally car pleasure in this GR Corolla. All right guys, here we are, business time. Now, unlike the Golf R, there's only one way you could get your GR Corolla and that's with that six-speed manual. No automatic, no DCT, but you know what? That's a true enthusiast performance, compact hot hatch. What do we got though? There are those triple pedals, nice aluminum clutch, brake and throttle. Perfect for heel toe downshifting. You could shut off that automatic rev match downshift. My only zonk over here is I wish the dead pedal was a little bit larger and had the aluminum finish just like the pedals. There's your manual seat controls. You'll also notice the bolstering. I'm six feet tall. I feel ready to rock and roll. Like let's launch this thing and I'm ready to freaking hit the track. Steering wheel. It's not your dad's Corolla steering wheel. This is a GR specific steering wheel. Like the aluminum, remember this is pre-production, so some of these finishes are gonna be a little bit different, but you got leather, the contrast stitching, manual adjustments on the tilt and the telescope, but you know what, I promised you 12 inches, there it is, 12.3 inches, new digital display, all the readouts, G meter, the whole nine yards, your temperatures, and then watch when you go into the different modes. So there's sport mode, and that takes the tech right across the top there to really give you that pure rally car feel and rally car information. Love the GR badge, but you know what? Let's get into the back seat and see how much room there is compared to the Golf R in this GR Corolla. All right guys, back seat time. Many of you wanted to see this. Just like your standard Corolla, this is how much room you have. I'm six feet tall. It actually isn't too bad, but the Golf R does give you a little bit more room. Backs of the seats though, that nice material all the way around, large pockets because guess what? You could take 
the pink slips of the Type R owners, the Golf R owners, and keep all those pink slips back here as you race them at your local track and beat them. You do have an extra Twinkie tray back here for your passengers to enjoy that golden brown delicious treat. And then like I was saying, overall, the fit and finish is fabulous. Materials though in the Golf R is a little bit better. You even though have a nice soft armrest with two cup holders. But why don't we go ahead, obviously this is a hot hatch, that means it's got a cargo area. Let's pop the hatch and see how much space you have in this GR. All right, guys, time to get in the hatchback area. Just like your standard Corolla, you're gonna get some really good usable room. And the great news is, is that even with the all-wheel drive system, you still got the space. Of course, if you need more, all you gotta do is just fold down those seats. One, two, three, easy peasy, race car dreamy and that's gonna allow you to be able to go do your track day and bring everything that you need for that ultimate experience. I know you wanna go on throttle, so do I. We're gonna be bringing it to you in a few short months, but we're here at Long Beach. It's about time for the drifting to begin, so let's wrap this one up. All right, guys, it's been an amazing time here in Long Beach for the drifting, the Formula Drift Championship. So glad we could bring the excitement, not only with what's going on here, but also with this all new GR Corolla. Let me know what you think. Has Toyota done enough? Is this the one that you would buy over that Volkswagen Golf R? Let me know in the comment section. We will be driving it in a few short months, so stay tuned for that here on Radies Rise. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of Long Beach. She's wearing her crown. She's working that camera like a champ. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori. For